How could I have lived a life so long without awakening? I know now what sustains us. Closing in on the fear these hearts are always pumping, turning them half blue to pump such toxins through the bloodstream. I could now see through their poor eyes the poverty of spirit it inflicted. What needless suffering to have as one concern 24 seven, these little problems and worries mounting and not surmount them all but rather magnify and analyze and ultimately amplify and replicate the whole nasty thought pattern into one big ball of tepid neuroses, which then lodged itself rather permanently between the shoulder blades, only to become in time a cancer ravaging body and mind, leaving the spirit flagging and lagging about it like a broom in the desert trying to sweep away the sand. All too late, for the malignancy has grown to the size of a mountain and now shadows and chokes off all life. I was eating a bowl of fried rice with Bless at a little hole in the wall Chinese takeout when she came up behind me and dropped an amulet on a black cord around my neck. She said she had been saving it for this moment. She said it would protect me. I pitched my chopsticks into the bed of rice so I could inspect it in the palm of my hand. The carving was a scarab set in sterling silver. My stepmom had taught me this was the Egyptian symbol for rebirth. Bless told me to rub the scarab's curve back if I was in trouble. I held it in my palm. Carved from nephrite, she said, smooth and waxy to the touch. I turned and kissed her on the lips. She smiled and we embraced. <laughs>